Good evening. Good evening. Um, the last guy was really happy. I'm not the last guy. I don't even think we should celebrate independence. What are we celebrating? Checkpoint. Arm robbers came. Rob checkpoint. They beat the sergeant, beat the constable, kidnap the DPO. We told the sergeant and the constable, organize quick operation, go release on our guard. They say no, we say they no won't go, but the DPO never give order. People don't understand how unsafe this country is. We hire security in my area. We go to protect us. Now the security now they tell us he does not feel safe. Our security hire in Omega. We say this is not tolerable. We chased him away, hired another one. The guy get red eye. We say thank God this one will protect us. We hire the guy for morning. For night, he follow robbers. You guys don't understand. We are in trouble. And if you see where this security are fighting thieves, these thieves eh, are not the ones you are used to. Not all these guys that carry guns, you know, knives and all that. These guys where they call robots, small, small boys, they can't afford arms. But because they know say they know get weapon, then they gather come. So like 13 people go just bust enter your self-contained. Space no go come they self to rob you. Now the organa will come the shaft for the members, black arrow tiger, space out. Let us see who we are trying to rob. And if they threaten you here, you know they don't have weapons, but they want to make you scared. Where's the money? Where's the money? Come see. We go bite you. <laughs> and then they bite. A fine man. You're laughing. If 13 people gather bite you, <laughs> it's not funny. Then bite my landlord now. 13 different saliva mix for the man, buddy. The man catch typhoid. We said no. This is not tolerable. We carry the matter go police. Police say na lie. Say how then go rob you, bite you. Now tell my landlord, pull your shirt. Now they see all the red, red mark with them body. They say make we carry and come on, say we carry chicken post corn spread for them. I had to ask for their DPO. They say we never hear. Wait, they say hey, then kidnap them now. They never still release them. Reach now. I said nonsense. We had to go to SARS. SARS say they deal in armed robbery, not ordinary theft. Say the guys were robbers, they no carry knife, they no carry gun, so they were not armed. I was angry with the SAS official. Because if you think about it, those guys were armed to the teeth. <laughs> Whenever I do comedy, I'm in my element. But the kind of comedy I do, I really like to talk about things that happen. Stories. Everyone is struggling, trying hard to make it. Let me tell you, the reality is not everyone will make it. Some people are destined to be poor. I'm telling you, take it from me. A friend of mine, well, I don't like to show you, he's not my friend. Don't be a failure. This guy played Naira Bet. He won 3.2 million. I didn't say thousand, 3.2 million. We say, thank God. Finally, if he used the money well, saying life could change. He won that money. Naira Bet actually paid. He got the credit a lot, but because he never see that kind of money, as he see the money, the boy mad. That's not the issue. We carry the boy go yaba left. The problem now, I say that the money we ain't win. Now they take the three time. The money was not even enough, so we had to borrow money to complete his treatment. Now the boy don't wake up from mad, way mad. Come the old people, he's worse off. He's... Well, look, people are saying invest, invest. It's not like people are not trying, but the environment is not fertile. Person buy keke, give a bookie. Drive this keke for me. Give me returns on investment. Simple. 
630,000 naira. He had 590. He collected 40 from his girlfriend. Balanced the money. Put keke. Gave Aboki. Aboki carried the keke. Tiff and go Kano. Stole the keke. Went to Kano. Like say he transport the keke for Tipa. It was a different case. It would have been different. He drive the keke rich Kano. The investigator will tell us in nine days. He left Yaba in the morning. The keke overheat around redeem camp. Around five. People are heartless. They bring the keke. The keke don't die now. They bring the keke come back. I don't know say keke feel lose weight. One of the tires don't pull. So the keke now be like big bike. Or is it the case of my neighbor that said he wanted to go into fisheries? We told him very good. His name wasn't Titus. Very funny. <laughs> he said very good, Dr. Titus. He went into fisheries. Saved all the money he could. He bought fingerlings. He didn't think about the fact that these fishes need to feed. To buy fish food not a problem. And you know these catfish are cannibalistic in nature. They started eating each other. The big one is the small one like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. They kept on eating each other until one fish in the pond. Very big. Make the boy not lose now. Now that Titus chop the last fish. You know the worst part? He cannot even complain to anybody because if you follow the chain of events to the last consumer, you can say he ate all his fishes. It's true. Let me tell you. Amongst the acts you guys have seen, I'm one of the youngest. This is the best time to come. Whether it's filled or it's not filled, I get the chance to talk. Next one I'll watch, pa, 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 three minutes. They start rushing them out. Let me talk. Now, I'm starting to realize that this marriage of a thing, it will be hard for me. Money, no money, money. It's not like I don't like women. Money. Nothing else. But let me tell you guys something. I actually don't understand women. When you ladies make demands, what you want in a man, how do you come across your thoughts? How do you process it? What do you want in a man? Ah, I want um, the kind of love, you know, where I can feel the sparks. What does that mean? I want, I want to love, you know, the kind of love that will shock me. Sparks. Shocks. She's married to an electrician now. The worst part is the guy is a terrible electrician. If you see wire connection in his house, sparks everywhere. Till today, she's still shocked. <laughs> you ladies don't understand the powers. Thank you. Thank you. You don't understand the power you have. That's what I, I think I realized. You don't understand the power you have. Whatever you want from a man, he tries to be that. I'm telling you the truth. Girls, they put men for trouble now. I want a guy, you know, with a abubi. Put young man for problem every morning. <laughs> One guy don't gym, gym, gym. The chest don't big, big, big space. No day front for the chest to grow again. So the chest come, they curve, they come up as I'm talking to you now. His nipple is on his shoulder. How many? How many, how many men will you ladies destroy? I don't really want much, you know, just V-shapes, some packs. That's what I love. The stupid boy could not hire a gym trainer. He could not afford to go to the gym. So now I'm back here and now I'm build the concrete. The problem now, I say one of the concrete big parts, the other side. So I they lift them. Now this side now, I come the game. This side was normal. The person where they suffer the problem now, the tailor. Every time they so close for him, the guy's always complaining. Why is this side tight? Yeah, it's loose. How many men? I have a fantasy. Ladies, don't do that thing. He changes the man's world. Any guy that hears, I have a fantasy. He's thinking, say it, say it. I like a guy that has thick neck. That's what one informer told one boy. Thick neck. Romeo, my friend, tall, fine, had afro. Say, thick neck, the idiot carried dumbbell, put for neck every morning. Huh? Huh? And he walked though. The neck became thicker. But waiting the boy no know. At the day where the boy go barbing saloon to shave that afro, if you see veins running from the neck to the forehead, spreading out like tribal trees, the girl saw him. She said he's not attractive anymore. So basically, in the end, it was all in vain.
let me let me not be what they call a mic um hugger my name is Ibubi, ladies and gentlemen thanks for listening to my stories